Hi, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to scrape Spotify discography pages using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. It's worth noting that what you'll learn in this video can be easily adapted to scrape any pages or any data from Spotify. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First up, a little bit of context before I show you how to configure this bot in just four easy steps and then how to run it. So I just want to tell you how it actually works, how the bot behaves, what it does. What happens is the automation or the bot reads links from a Google Sheet. Those are links are to artist pages. It then opens up those artist pages in the browser. The bot then will scroll down the page and click on discography. It will then scrape the links to the albums, looping through those links, opening up each album page to scrape data. That's the essence of how this automation works. It can, of course, be customized to meet your needs. Now, let's show you how to configure it. Before you get started, you will need a Google Sheet. Now, I've set one up already. I have two tabs in my Google Sheet, one called Profiles, and that has the URLs to the artist pages, and one called Data, and that's where I'll write the scrape data to. You would, of course, also have to install the template. Now, if you've discovered this video on YouTube, that's great. You'll need to go to axiom.ai, and if you look at our top menu, you'll see a link to our templates where you'll discover this and many more templates. If you're already on the template page, you click the link above or click the link to the side to install the template, and then you can get on with configuring it. Um, lastly, if you don't have an Axiom account, click either of those buttons to create your Axiom account, then use the free runtime we provide new users to test out this automation. Template installed, we're now ready to configure it. Let's open up Axiom. Remember, four steps to configure this template. So it should be done very quickly. So our first step we need to configure is our read data from Google Sheet. This basically pulls in the URLs of the artist page we want to visit and scrape album data from. So click in the spreadsheet field, search for the sheet you've created. Mine's called Spotify. Set your sheet name. And I want to select the sheet tab with the URLs in. Then in the output, you'll see we've got the URLs to the album or the rather the artist pages. And that's step one configured. How easy was that? So I'm now going to whiz through the other three steps we need to configure before I give you a bit more context of what all the steps do together. Next up, step 2.1, we need to configure the go to page. This basically loads the artist page. And we need to do that so we can scrape the data we want. So I'm going to expand the go to page step. We need to set up the enter URL field. Now you'll see by default we've got this partial URL or string in that field. Now if you run the bot with just that URL or partial URL, it's not going to do anything. The bot will be broken. So what we need to do is insert the artist URL in front of the slash discography slash all to make a complete URL so the bot will work correctly. So use the cursor, cl click inside the enter URL field in front of the, the first slash, then click insert data because we're going to just insert the URL from the Google Sheet. We'll see a preview of that. Save and close. And that's the second step set up, step 2.1. We should now Basically load, the bot will load straight onto the discography page so we can scrape the album links. So I'm going to collapse that step. I'm going to go on to configure the next steps. Step 2.4.3, and we just need to add our Google Sheet into this write data to Google Sheet. And this is basically where we, when we output the scrape data from an album straight into our Google Sheet tab that we showed you earlier. So again, in spreadsheet, select the app, sorry, select the spreadsheet you've created. This time, select the sheet where you're going to write the data to. Mine's called data. Now, you'll need to make sure you've got the correct scrape data in here, step 2.42, and that's the album scrape data in the data. Also, write options, make sure it's set to add to existing. This means 
whenever any new data is written to the sheet, it just keeps adding rather than overwriting. That's 2.43 set up. Let's go down to the final step we need to configure and go to step 2.5. It's a delete rows from a Google Sheet step. We use this step to basically delete the artists that we've just processed and scraped the data from so we don't keep repeating the same job. Okay, now spreadsheet URL, click like we've done before, find the sheet you created. Now, sheet name, collect, select the sheet with the, the links to the URL artists, to the artist URL rather, which is profiles. And we only want to delete one row at a time because we go through one artist at a time. And that's it, that's the automation set up. So we are now ready to run it. Before I do it, let me quickly ex explain the structure of this automation because you see it's got more steps than what we've had to configure to get the bot ready to run. So basically our first step reads the URLs. Our second step is a loop. And then within that, we have step 2.4, which is a nested loop. So we have one loop, the initial loop, which will go through and load the artist page the discography page. And in that loop, uh, it will scrape the album links. Then we have the nested loop 2.4, where we pass into 2.41, the album links, and we loop through those album links, scraping the data from those albums into the Google Sheet, before finally we delete the row that's been processed. Okay, without further ado, I think it'll be clear, clearer if I just show you the automation running. Without further ado, let's run this automation. Let's watch the magic. Let's watch the browser bots in action automating our work. So I'm going to expand Axiom. I'm going to click run. I'm going to run in the cloud for this automation. And what it should do is share the Spotify session. So I should be logged in and no need to log in. Here you can see our Cloud Runner has opened up. In a moment, we should see the artist page with the discography slash all attached to it. Indeed, we can see that that string has loaded in. If we look at the URL field at the top of the browser, and we can see we've highlighted the links to the albums. Now we're gonna loop through those albums. As you can see, the bot is looping scraping that data and each time it's going to write some of that data which is copyright data and name as I mentioned. Then it's going to loop through the next album and of course what you can do is specify an, an amount of albums that you want to scrape if you don't want to scrape the whole um, collection. I can't recall, let me just check whether I did set an amount. I think I, I limited it to about five. So we'll need to set it on the scraper here. 2.3 is where you can set the amount. And yes, I did a limit of five. So if you wanted to do 10 or 15, just adjust the max results in 2.3. So let me go back to the automation. It will then loop through the next album, it's going to keep on going, writing some data. So let's have a quick look at the Google Sheet to see if the bot has written any data to the Google Sheet, because it should write with each loop of an album. And here we can see the album data being written into the Google Sheet. That's rather exciting, pretty cool. Now we should be on to the next artist. So we should, what we've seen is the first loop of the initial artist, Deep Forest, it scraped the album links, and shortly we should see it loop onto the second artist link that we had. And we can see that happening now. We're onto Sheena Easton. Some classic 80s tracks hidden in there. Look at that 80s photography, pretty cool. Okay, so now it's going to go through Sheena's discography collection, scraping the album links, just as we saw with Deep Forest. And I don't think we need to sit here and watch all of this, so I'm gonna stop the bot here. That's how easy it is to set up and run. 
I hope you enjoy scraping data from Spotify. Of course, let's not forget you can customize any template, including this one in Axiom. So let's say you wanted to scrape, scrape different data off an album. Let me just show you how you could do that. So let's open up an album page. It'd be as simple as opening up the Axiom, going to the step that scrapes the album data. So it's not that's 2.4, that scrapes the links. Sorry, it is within 2.4. And we want to go to step 2.4, Point two, and this is the scraper that gets the album data. All we need to do is press select, and now we can choose a different set of data. So we can either expand on the data by adding additional columns, and there's more information on using our um, scraper tool, tool, where we can just point and click and add on if we wanted to get the little biography there. Or if you want to remove some of these choices, you can always just click and delete. It's pretty easy. There's more information on our website if you want to find out more. That's how easy it is to configure this template. You can also just add additional steps. So if you wanted to, for example, click on a button to reveal data, you can add a click step. If you need to log in, you can add enter text steps. It's pretty flexible what you can do with Axiom. Finally, we do have tips on the template page in case you get stuck, and we do offer great customer support. Go to axiom.ai, top menu, click on customer support, upload the Axiom, tell us what's wrong, we'll send it back to you fixed. But in the meantime, let me whiz you through some of these tips before I wrap this video up. So step 2.1, this is crucial, make sure you get this right. You will want to make sure you've got the token inserted correctly in front of the slash discography slash all. Otherwise, you're not going to be loading the correct page. And if you see the discography page isn't loading for the artist, do check that this is set up correctly and that should fix any issue there. Any issues with the click elements, try reselecting them. It's point and click like you saw earlier with the select tool. Just go onto the Spotify page then reselect the element to, to bring out the um, grid element. Now, you may also want to change the amount of album links scraped. That's done in 2.3 max results. I've got it on five. If you want 10, put in 10. It's as easy as that. Okay, step 2.4 are album links. Make sure the go to page is the link data from step 2.3. Then you should loop through those links and also the loop data is correct. Now, if you find the data is being overwritten, make sure you've got add to existing set up. And then lastly, if you keep looping through the same artist, check that you're deleting a row from the profiles or the tab you have with the URLs. But like I said, we do offer great customer support. So reach out to us and we'll help. Thank you very much.